In this video, I'll be showing you how to use one cake recipe to achieve four different flavors or maybe save yourself some stress, time and effort in the kitchen while making this recipe. Let's go! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you're welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like this video and share. I'm saying it right now so that I don't forget to say it in the video. So guys, today we're making a cake recipe that you can use to create multiple variations of flavors. But today I'll be showing you how to use that same cake recipe to create four different flavors. And we're starting off by measuring 400 grams of margarine to my mixer. I'm going to be using my stand mixer today, please. I don't have strength. And I'm going to that I'm going to be adding 480 grams of sugar. So if you're using cup, that is two cups of butter and two cups of sugar with one over four cup extra of sugar. I attach my wicks attachment and not the paddle. I'm using the wicks because the wicks is better than the paddle. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Okay, so guys, you want to cream this together till it's pale. Like just observe the color right now and observe the color we're going to achieve when we're done creaming so i while that is going i went on to proceed to like i went on to proceed imagine i went on to organize the rest of my ingredients starting from my milk and i just added 80 grams of powdered milk and to that i added water till it got to 420 grams which is exactly two cups of liquid or diluted milk now you can use whole milk for this you can also use evaporated milk but i do not advise you use evaporated milk for baking okay so i mix this like dilute it properly and then set it aside i also went on to sift my flour measure in my baking powder and all that good stuff don't worry guys all the ingredients and measurements will be listed in the description box below so be sure to check that out before asking questions in the comment section okay and guys make sure that your ingredients are always prepped this would help your cake move smoother so that you don't end up over creaming over mixing your cake this is why you need a mixer because a mixer will give you time to do all those things but if you're not using a mixer if you're using your hands make sure to prep all those things before you even start so that you have a flawless cake baking process start to finish after sifting the flour and the and adding the ingredients i proceed to oiling my cake pan i'm still old so i use the plastic butter and flour it hasn't failed me so i don't see a reason to change it so i oil my i butter my pan just the sides and a tip of the down just because i am using parchment paper parchment paper at the base if you're not using parchment paper at the base you can just butter that and make sure to flow it the good thing about flooring your pan after buttering it is that if you missed any spot then the butter is obviously going to show because the floor would not stick to it so you would have to add more butter there and flow it okay now we go back to see our buttered and sugar cream you as you can see now the color has totally changed this is more lighter in color than the way it was the first time and this is what you always want to achieve it's not necessarily cream your butter till the sugar dissolve sometimes you're using lumpy sugars and honestly they do not dissolve so just cream your butter till you see it has gotten pale the size and the volume has doubled in quantity hey i don't know if the english is correct but you get what i'm saying make sure the volume is double the size and the color is pale then you know it's time to add your eggs so i add my eggs two at a time because this is twice the usual butter i will do so this um butter would fill two eight inches pan or four six inches pan which is exactly what i'm using and this butter calls for 10 eggs and 400 grams of margarine don't worry the ingredients are in the description box so just check that out and as you can see i measure my eggs i measure my eggs because this helped me get exactly the same volume and quantity of butter every single time it also helped maintain the same texture of cake so that i'm not confusing myself and people with different things today my cake is of tomorrow is hard no so measure your eggs okay always measure your ingredients this will help a lot with baking baking is a science so precise precision is key mm. anyway guys each egg is measured at 55 grams per egg 
to sometimes the eggs are more and sometimes they are less this today it was le- it was way more like each egg weighed over 60 something so i ended up using nine eggs not 10. this is the importance of weighing your ingredients because your ingredients will tell you exactly what quantity to add not just necessarily about because nature is funny eggs don't come all the same sizes but when you measure it you get to know okay yes i added exactly the same quantity of egg i used the last time let's all avoid long talks okay so i measured out my eggs and i got exactly 550 grams of egg in total for this um particular quantity you can split that in half you can double it you can triple it you can do whatever you want with it just know that because the eggs are measured you get exactly the same texture and quantity of cake every single time so guys after that i proceed to adding my flour and my milk at different intervals remember the milk we diluted earlier that is why you do all your things in time because imagine if i started adding my flour it was time and i'll first go and start diluting my milk my egg would over cream i'll be over weeks and over mix before you know it everything is broken down i will get a bad result of cake that's why you need to prep your things before you start baking so i added my flour and milk consecutively and then I added them in four batches ending and starting with the floor or starting and ending with the floor however you want to put it but make sure you start and end with the floor because the floor will be the last binding power to make sure that you have a smooth creamy batter okay and after that is done our batter is now ready to be shared and flavored however if we so long. Long. okay <laughs> okay so now this is where everything at the ball down to this is the point where you can flavor this however you want so i start off by sharing the batter in two four and one flavor of this will be this classic vanilla cake that i have already made as my base so i am just going to first share the batter equally amongst um three pans but the third one is going to actually be the plain vanilla cake so that is just i forget about that like i just put that and forget about it so one flavor down and we have three more to go so the first flavor after the vanilla cake i'll be making is the cookies and cream now the cookies and cream flavor is just me adding oreo to my plain vanilla cake mixture and i'm going to turn this around and that is my cookies and cream flavor now a lot of people may come for me and say that this is not cookies and cream cake that is your business if i were making it all cookies and cream cake i will make this by adding my cream and my cookies to this unfortunately i am not doing that and i don't want to end up with a sugary cake so this would suffice for me and also for you because the whole point of cookies and cream oreo has it the cream in the middle is the cream and the cookies is the cookie so argue with your ancestors not me now we move on to our second flavor what am i saying our third flavor we have the plain vanilla now and the cookies and cream so the third one we're going to be making is a strawberry flavored cake now this is not a strawberry cake this is a strawberry flavored cake and i am just using my red velvet food coloring and a little bit of strawberry flavor and i am strawberry extract or essence whichever one you feel okay with or whichever one you have they are the same and I added a bit of both and then I'm going to mix this thoroughly tea See, until it is evenly pink. Don't be lazy about this and don't be in a rush to mix it because if you rush you over mix and if you're too lazy about it you're going to have stripes of pink and not a pink cake. So be sure and be careful. I do two circles a swipe. Two circles a swipe. I don't know if that makes sense but that is how I measure mine out to make like that is how I mix it to make sure I mix it properly. Now to the last flavor of today we're making the lotus biscuit. The best is always the last and this is my top three favorite flavors of cake there are i don't know why i like biscoff so much but i am obsessed i proceed by adding some crushed cookie biscoff cookies and then the cookie butter do not miss out on the cookie butter that it makes it, it in fact you would not remember that it's one butter that you use to make all these flavors of cake by the time you taste this biscoff cake trust me so i added a tablespoon of the cookie butter and then i added about four crushed biscuits to achieve this and that is all guys this is our four 
unique flavors of cake now trust me when i tell you that these cakes they are not going to taste the same because the uh, flavors have been influenced the cookies and cream is going to have a hint of chocolate while the biscoff is going to just be well biscoffy the plain vanilla is going to give you the original taste of this cake and the strawberry is already influenced with strawberry flavor so it's going to have a hint of strawberry in it and this is the way you're going to make four beautiful amazing flavors of cake without stressing yourself just from one butter now guys don't forget to subscribe like share and comment on this video also let me know what else you'd like to see me try and let me know if you're going to be trying this if you try this don't forget to tag me on my social media handle you guys don't want me to revive my instagram or my tiktok come on please help your girl and i am this close to getting monetized on youtube so please watch this video and let me know what you think in the comments and i'll see you in my next video bye guys Love you.